Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition, where we must carry everything on a vehicle. And uh, this is our vehicle right now. So I asked you guys in the last episode how you thought I should handle farming, and uh, why is there so much grass on the ground here? I thought I had grass off. Why is foliage density set to very high? I thought I had that on the minimum. I know it looks better with very high, but um, I, I just feel like so, so much stuff can hide underneath the grass that I just like the visibility of less foliage. But anyway, I asked for your guys' input on how farming should be handled, whether or not we should be able to build bases, not bases, but build uh, fortifications around a farm in preparation for the raid, or if that would go against the nomadic, uh, theme of the series and it seems like the overwhelming consensus everyone seems to agree that i should be able to build walls around my farm as long as after that harvest i pack everything up and go you, you, you just can't have a permanent farm or a permanent defenses anywhere pretty much so that's just what we're going to be doing so it is 1847 right now I'm gonna wait until midnight, and then I'm going to... Well, I'm, I'm gonna start putting down the soil and stuff, but I, at midnight is when I'm gonna start planting. I have 20, which I think is decent. So I'm gonna plant all 20 soil plots that I have, and I think to get blueberry seeds and orange seeds and stuff, I actually need tomatoes and beets. So I'm gonna focus on tomatoes first. I'll plant 20 tomatoes and we can get ourselves some orange seeds because in order to get a spud gun, which is the big milestone of this series, in order to get a spud gun, I need 20 oranges and 20 blueberries. So let's start uh, plotting our soil. I should probably make some more buckets to make watering easier too. All right, what does it take now while I'm waiting? What does it take to make a water bucket and a beacon? Tier two metal to make a beacon? I feel like beacons really should be lower tier. Than that all right water bucket oh look at that i can make another water bucket i'm gonna go to make another water bucket um i also realized that thanks to the comments i thought i had fully upgraded my craft station because i unlocked all these slots but i'm only level four i forgot that there's one more level and that requires 20 component kits so that's also going to be a goal of this episode is to fully upgrade the craft station because that level will half the time that it takes to make things um also i need a vacuum pump so for that i need tier two metal for a vacuum pump really um oh boy okay well we definitely got our work cut out for us because uh we're gonna need a vacuum pump in order to package our fruit and vegetables at the packing station so handy trick for filling up water containers jump in the water and scroll through your inventory and then they all fill up all right i actually have enough for a little bit how much tier two i can craft 30 tier two metal because i need that for a lot of stuff i only need 10 for this here um, I'm gonna need some beeswax. I'm gonna need some component kits. Component kits are gonna have to be a big focus of mine right now, too. All right, I got one minute left, and then I can start planting. Let me get my seeds. And you know what? I think I can start watering these before I actually plant. So let me go ahead and water. Go ahead and jump back in. Yeah, this is actually, this isn't gonna be too bad. All right, we're all watered up, and the time is... All right, we still got 10 seconds left. And then I will go ahead and plant my first ever crop in the Nomad series. All right, two, one, and zero. So now I believe I can plant without worrying about a raid tonight. And I have a full 24 hours, or 24 minutes rather, before a raid comes. How am I gonna find my way back to my plot if I go explore during this day? Can I craft a beacon right now? What does it take for a beacon? I need a radio. What does it take to make a radio? What is all this? I need batteries, glue. I have two glue on me. Okay. I think I can do this. All right, glue, battery. All right, I can now make a radio. And then with that radio, I can craft a beacon and the beacon is gonna mark my farm. All right, beacon has been crafted. Let's go ahead and place our beacon down. I'm gonna put the beacon actually in the water in hopes that there's not gonna be any chance of a uh, raid damaging it. So for farm, what do we have for farm things? All right, I guess we're gonna do this like barn house thing for a farm. And uh, we'll just do green for, because you know, planting stuff is green. All right, we got our farm planted now. We got our beacon next to our farm. And for defenses, uh, let's just do very, very, very basic defense here. 
All right, I think we got a really good basic defense here. So let's go ahead and explore and uh, hopefully get some more component kits. All right, so another uh, thing I saw a lot in the comments, which I think also makes a lot of sense with the Nomad lifestyle, and it's also just going to be consistent with what we're doing with our farm defenses, is pretty much the rules should allow that we can build structures into the ground as long as uh, we don't leave them there. Just take them with you. You got to take everything with you. For the farms, that applies to uh, you have one harvest worth of time. And for other things, like, uh, for instance, if, if we go to an oil pond, I think it's reasonable to set up like an oil extraction device. And then once you're done extracting the oil, you have to deconstruct it and bring it with you. I think it uh, keeps with the spirit of the nomad lifestyle and uh, just doesn't make it unnecessarily annoying and complicated to just not be able to build anything anywhere. All right, I think I need like 13 component kits in order to finish upgrading my craft bot. All right, how do we do? I got 10. What? I have 21 component kits after this. I don't know how many I have. Oh, oh, there's something over here. Oh. I don't know how many component kits I had in my inventory when I came here, but I got a lot of component kits here. This was, like, there's another one. This was a really, really successful run. All right, let's uh, upgrade the craft bot then. <laughs> oh, I forgot to harvest this. All right, so now I can upgrade that. And there we go, fully upgraded craft bot. So that's great. And now I have two component kits left. All right, what time is it? 12.37. We're about halfway through the day. Uh, let's head over to another place and get some more component kits. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the beeswax gold mine right here. All right, I am happy with this. Also got some more corn. This cow is gonna be a very happy cow, very fat cow. Another thing I need to think about is um, when it comes to mining, cause I think I'm gonna wanna drill at some point cause we're gonna need some more metal uh, harvesting capabilities because doing the hay bot scraps is just not a very long-term solution. It's very, very time consuming and inconvenient. Wood isn't nearly as much of a pressing issue at this stage, I don't think. But if I give my mobile base drilling capabilities, I think that is going to be a huge waste of fuel. So I think what might be cool and more efficient is to oh no oh no 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 don't fall off don't fall off no 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 <laughs> dang it <laughs> i think what be what might be more efficient is to actually have a secondary mining vehicle that i actually either tow with my mobile base or i have it somehow like welded into my mobile base i mean this is more of like a further down the road thing to think about but i think that this, that might be the best way to do it so I can have like a deployable mining vehicle, which would be kind of cool. All right, if I could get some like carrots, that'd be great. And I'm just realizing once I get a spud gun, ammo is actually going to be really scarce considering I can't build a giant plot of like 200 crops, um, at least not practically. It's gonna be really difficult to maintain my ammo. I'm gonna have to really conserve ammo and be careful about how I use that. I had my hopes up so much looking at how massive this place was. And this is like the emptiest loot area I've ever come across. Oh, there's a gold one, I guess. Ooh, a driver's saddle. That's actually kind of useful. I'll, I'll take the driver's saddle. You know what? I'm going to take some of these carrot seeds too. All right. Well, how much time we got left? Oh, we got less than two minutes. Okay. Uh, where's my vehicle? My vehicle is over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got to get back. Uh, is the pathway clear? Nope. Let's go down over here instead. All right, come on. There we go. Where did I put my vehicle? There it is. All right, and my farm is all the way over there. Oh boy, I got like a minute left. Why am I cutting this so close? This is the first raid. I gotta be prepared for this. All right, let's go. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Back it up. There we go. Now, where do we go? I guess we'll turn this way. Uh, get through the rocks. Oh boy, less than a minute left. Come on. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. How's my fuel doing? Full fuel. All right, good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh boy, don't lose control. Don't lose control. I got this. Okay, here we are. All right, for this, uh, we got time to prepare here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my vehicle on a lift right over here. Just get it out of the way. And now I'm ready. 
I am ready. How many component kits do we get out of that? Four component kits total out of that. I had two already in my inventory. That is pathetic. Oh, are these already ready? Oh, let's pick them up. I don't even need to be here for this raid. I got seven seconds left. I honestly, I don't need to be here for this. Oh, I'm just gonna, uh, <laughs> do that. Can they destroy soil? I think they're coming. Let's see what they do. I wanna see what they do. Are they just gonna come after me? They're just gonna come after me, aren't they? The, the crops are gone. They have nothing else to do. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna need my lift for this then. Alright, here we go. Wow, this is actually a lot more for a first level raid. Oh boy, they're really te tearing this thing down. I'm actually having trouble. Whoa! I'm having trouble keeping this up in the air. Okay, I think we're good against these guys. We can go a lot lower. Oh, they knocked me off. All right, I think I can just handle these on the ground. Oh, they're stuck. All right, there we go. So that's one raid, no problem at all. And then for this next night, I don't know if I should plant again. What time is it? No, I can't plant again. I forgot my own rules. I'm gonna have to pick up farm now. We have to plant somewhere else if we're gonna plant. Nomad style, we gotta move. We've gotten the resources from this area, time to move to a new area. All right, now I can make myself a vacuum pump, so I'm gonna, gonna definitely make that. What else did I need to make? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my beacon now, and I'm actually gonna put my beacon right on the back of my craft here, and that is also just gonna be my home. It's gonna be my home, because this is my home. So I'm gonna make a button as well, because we now need to hook up a vacuum pump Oh, we need another chest. I need to make another one of these chests. How much metal do I have? I don't have enough metal. And I'm gonna start making some metal. Because once we have enough metal, then I can make another one of these chests and we can use that for our vacuum pump. We're gonna need it for our vacuum pump. I need glue too. Let's go ahead and get some glue out of here. All right, so now let's get to the packing station, figure out how we're going to attach this thing to it. Where is the mechanic station? Over there. Packing station is in that general direction. Wow, I went farther than I thought. That mechanic station is actually kind of far away. Also, I don't even know where... Oh, this is interesting. I don't know where the second packing station is. In my first world, I just kept following the same road from the first packing station, and I found my way to the second packing station, but in this world, the road is a dead end. It's not letting me do that. And I'm gonna get a lot more of this for some wood. I have not gone this direction before. I'm coming back to the mechanic station from a new direction. There's lots of water around here. Another island. There's definitely a farm bot over on that island for sure. All right, here we are at the packing station. I gotta get myself three tomato crates, which, oh, excuse you, which I think I have enough tomatoes. And then I gotta transport them up this massive hill to the trader. So let's hook this thing up. All right, I think I got everything I need. Is that gonna match up? I think this is gonna match up. We do that. We put a button on it. Hook the button up to the seat. Hook the button up to that. And then I just put my tomatoes in here. All right. Oh, dang it. I was not, <laughs> I wasn't at the tomato. I just wasted a tomato. Wow. I think I have a couple extra. That would have been really, really bad. I have two extra tomato. I cannot afford to do that. All right, let's uh, go ahead and back this thing in. Make sure it gives us the, yeah, there we go. There's the signal. That's the signal we're looking for. All right, now we just do this 30 times. All right, there we go. We have made our tomato crates. Now we just gotta slap them onto this vehicle. Put that one there. All right, you know what? I'm definitely gonna want some weight on the front. So let's just go ahead and slap them on the front like that. Cause we're gonna be going uphill with rear wheel drive. And you know what, for this, let's give ourselves some front wheel drive for once. There we are. All right, our vehicle is set. Let's see if we can pull this off. The good old hill climb to the trader. This is gonna be a, a so somewhat regular thing. Oh, look at that, that wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, putting the, putting the crates on the front was definitely a good move. Ooh, look at that, we got our own a reward. A reward for making it up here. All right, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take some more carrot seeds, why not? All right, Mr. Trader, here I come with some tomatoes. All right, one crate. Two crates. Three crates. 
Please give me something special for my work. Um, there we go. Orange seeds. We definitely need the orange seeds, and I got the orange seeds. I'm gonna get more carrot seeds. I guess I can get this too. Because carrots, I think, are gonna be good for hunger in the early stages. It's kind of like a waste of, like, time, though, to plant carrots. All right, you know what? It is just past midnight. Let's go ahead and plant a crop at the trader. This is gonna be our second crop spot. And now I'm going to need uh, beets. So, oh, I left my crops on the thing. I gotta hurry up and plant these. All right, unauthorized farming detected. So now that it has said unauthorized farming detected, I'm gonna hope that this works, but I'm gonna hope that it is just geared the unauthorized farming detected towards that tier of crop. And now that I do the orange crop, I'm hoping that wasn't included in the level of raid that I'm gonna get, but I'm definitely gonna want some defenses this time. All right, I believe everything is now watered. So let's get some fertilizer and fertilize the oranges because I really don't want those. I really want those just as soon as possible. Fertilize, 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 fertilize. I'll just do it on the oranges because I know that they're gonna take longer. Let me fill up my buckets while I'm here too. There we go. All right, now time to build up some defenses. I have a lot of wood now, so I'm just gonna use some regular wood to build up these defenses. All right, so I've really convinced that this pronged approach is a, the simplest early game method to really keep bots away because they have to get through all of these prongs or they have to get through all of these layers of prong in order to get to the farm or as opposed to just having a straight vertical wall uh, that just uses so many resources and it's just one layer. So I really think this is probably the most cost efficient and at the nomad lifestyle, I think minimalism is gonna be my friend. So this is it right here, the nomadic farm life. We got oranges and beets growing. And with these beets, this is only 25 beets. Do I have any more beets? I don't think I, do I have like actual beets? If I had five beets, that'd be great. Cause I need 30. I have three beets. How much time do I have? I have most of the day. Let's go out and hopefully I can actually find some beets. If I could get two more beets just from looting, that would be amazing. So as I go look for more beets, I'm also gonna try to find the second packing station because if we're gonna give them oranges and blueberries, I think we need to go to that second packing station. And I don't know where it is yet. And that's a problem. So what I'm gonna do is pretend like that road that ends didn't end and it was going through this forest, which I've already looted in this direction. So I'm gonna continue going in this direction. And I really am starting to feel like there's gonna be a farm bot in this kind of area. And that is extremely concerning to me. I am not ready for a farm bot. Oh, look at, oh, this is perfect. Right next to the trader are some of these guys. I need those for the spud gun. All right, uh, just one? There's just one here, huh? So that's good because I really didn't want to have to bring these guys up the hill. All right, let's continue on in this direction. I see some ruins. I'm hoping, oh boy, please don't be a farm bot hidden in here. Don't hit me, don't hit me, just get out of the way. Oh, there it is, I knew it, yeah, all right. My intuition was correct. There is, look at that. There is another packing station, just if you follow as if the road continued along that way. All right, so I'm gonna loot these ruins over near this packing station then. All right, come on, let's show me some beats. Show me the beats. Oh, look at that. I didn't expect it to show me a beat. I need one more beat. Come on, show me the beats. Show me the beats. Do I get beats from these things? That's all I needed. I needed two beats. I got two beats. Now once my harvest is done, as long as I don't lose any of the beats, then I'll have enough to get the blueberry seeds. And then all I gotta do is plant the blueberries and oranges until I get 20 of each. And then we have the spud gun. Oh, look at that. There's a four story warehouse. That can be it. That can be our end game right there. That's exactly what we needed for the end game, a four story warehouse. Now we know where it is. Just go like west from the packing station, assuming that the sun is in the south, which doesn't make sense, but this is not the real world, okay? This is scrap mechanic world. I'm just using the sun. The sun feels like south to me, okay? Ooh, a gold chest. A revival baguette and a radio? I kind of wanted that. I, well, a revival baguette's useless for me because I'm all alone and you need a friend to put that in your mouth. All right, the time is, I got four minutes. Let's just get back. I want to feel safe this time. 
We... All right, we are back. Here's our farm. Oh, let's harvest the stuff. This stuff isn't ready yet? This stuff better be ready soon. I thought it would be ready by now. Well, we got the oranges. That's good. Come on, I can't lose any of these. I have literally the exact number that I need. So I'm gonna have to really distract them and this might be a higher tier raid. I am nervous. I'm actually nervous for this. If I lose a single one of these, I'm not gonna be able to get my blueberry seeds. This is high stakes. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. They're starting to sprout now. All right, here they come, here they come. All right, those ones I don't have to worry about. I'll get these ones. Let's rush to them first. Keep their distance. All right, anybody come from this direction? Yes, yes, yes. Is this a lesser raid than what I had before? Last time I had a Haybot, and Haybots are like way worse than these guys. No Haybots this time? And my inventory is full. Is that really it? I am surprised at that. So now, as the rules state, I must tear down my crop, my farm plot. We've used this land for its resources, and now it is time to move on to greener pastures. Well, so far, um, not a single bot has actually threatened my farm, so this has been good. Oh, this is gonna take forever to pick up, isn't it? But the thing is, <laughs> the more plots I put down, the longer it's gonna take to pick everything up. Especially the soil. The soil takes so long. Alright, I got all the stuff. Let's see if I was right. Wait, that is 27. Why do I only have 27? Oh, there it is. There's the other three. Oh, I was worried there. Alright, there's 30. Alright, I can afford another beacon. I'm crafting another beacon too. That way we can... Uh, I'm gonna mark the trader here. So I'm actually gonna take this one while that one's crafting. And I'm just gonna leave one at the trader because we're gonna have to come back here. There we go. Trader is marked. I'm marking him orange because I kind of see the trader. The, or the trader just has orange vibes to me. All right, now let's head down to the packing station and pack up these beets. All right, here we go. You ready for this? You ready for this? Woo! <laughs> the cow just got so much air. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I just knocked them right down into the greenies. Don't worry, I'll save you. I will save you cows. I have corn for you anyway, as a thank you for the entertainment. All right, here, please. Oh, that's a toilet. Don't eat the toilet. Eat the corn. I have so much corn for you. All right, here we go. Beats in number two. Move it on in. Perfect. And now I just gotta press this a whole bunch of times. All right, beats are all set. Time to place them on the vehicle and get back up to the trader. After I get my milk, of course. All right, remind me what it takes to make big wheels. There we go. I'm making two more big wheels. We're gonna have a fully big wheeled vehicle because I can't even get over this. I guess it would help if I had, uh, let's just do an experiment here. Front wheel steering probably would really help with it. Okay, no problem. I think I'm gonna keep the front wheel steering. We have a level five engine. We've been doing pretty good with that so far. Get some more beeswax. All right, look at this milk. Somebody didn't, you didn't eat corn? What? You left corn here right in front of you? All right, hopefully I give it to the right one. Is one of you guys gonna produce milk with a single corn? Nope. Well, don't worry, I got some more. How about now? There we go, there's some more milk. All right, time to get back up the massive hill. Ready and go, go, go. Oh, go, 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 go. Come on. No, 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 don't attack me while I'm doing this. You serious? Why are there so many haybots right here? Oh, 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 I'm stuck. Oh, don't, no, no, oh, if he hit a crate, oh boy, I would have been so mad. If he broke one of those beat crates, holy cow, I would have been so mad. I think we're okay though. Oh, okay, that was almost terrible. All right, successfully made it back with all of the beat crates. And now I think this is an official, we have broken into the next tier of crops. We now have orange seeds and we now have blueberry seeds for the first time. So I think for the next episode, that means that we're gonna be finding a new place to plant and we're gonna be planting 
all of our orange and blueberry seeds as much as we can. Or I think I have, um, I have 11 orange seeds and only five blueberry seeds now. And we need 20 of each of these. I already have eight oranges. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be one away from having 20. Unless I find another orange while I'm looting in the next uh, episode, we're gonna have 19 oranges at the end of the next crop, which is gonna be really frustrating. Oh, uh, before I go though, let's go ahead and add these large wheels to finalize the upgrade of our vehicle. Now we should have more ground clearance, just a little bit more ground clearance and some better maneuverability. There we go, that's gonna feel good. I like that. All right, then I'm also going to make two more crates. We really, we just really need these crates, these storage crates. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this episode. Let me know what do you wanna see in the next episode outside of the uh, farming oranges and blueberries to get our spud gun. I definitely wanna expand our mobile base here because everything's really, really cramped right now. I have a lot of wood to build with. It's not the best for durability but at least it's something. So I'll be looking in the comments for that kind of feedback. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you check out some other stuff on the channel. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.